Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. So this is a fun project. A user had a question about how to modify this in Tinkercad. Friends, I've got some tips. Let me show you. So first, since it's on Thingiverse, visit Thingiverse and, of course, find the thing files. I always choose download the singular file if there's more than one. I'm going to put it in my downloads folder. Of course, in Tinkercad, I'm going to choose create new 3D design. Now I know this is going to be a fish feeder, so let's type fish feeder and choose import of this project. Now it's important to note it can only be 25 meg. Let's see if that file was small enough. It seems like it is. Let's hit open. I think it's going to be millimeters. Notice that's 9 centimeters by 6 centimeters. So I'm going to keep it just like that and hit import. So friends, I don't know what the modifications the user wanted to make, but let me show you how to do this super quick. So first we're going to bring out the ruler. I'm going to just set it on a corner here and this just helps us get some ideas. If I click on the shape and I change this measurement to zero and I ch change this measurement to zero, it snaps right to those edges. And I can see that this is about 66.67 millimeters across. So if I want to recreate that shape, so instead of modifying, I'm going to show you how to build this from scratch. Watch this. Bring out a tube. We're going to change its radius. We're going to change it to 33, which gets us close to 66. Check it out. We've already made the ring. I'm going to change the height of it so that it pops up a little bit past. That makes it easier to see. I'm going to make it more round by increasing the sides and I'm going to try a wall thickness of two and press enter that's too thin now I'm going to try a wall thickness of three and press enter if we do a quick align so I'm selecting the two press an L for align I'm going to make the original the boss and choose middle and choose the front end bingo you can see we have recreated that part you can see we've recreated this piece really quickly so now friends let's make this arm it is just a squished cube when we bring it out set it down i'm going to move it close i can see that i've got that lined up really really well and i'm just going to simply nudge this in notice it's almost 13. i think just to make things cooler i'm going to stay with the number 13 and then i'm going to adjust this thickness to match as well that'll be three that is fine and then let's adjust the height if we bring it up here you can see 60 gets us really close. Now I don't know what measurements the user wanted to adjust, so I'm just gonna stay with easy numbers like 60. If you want the exact numbers, you can change your nudge and get it as close as you can to the original. All right, friends, so we're gonna do a really cool trick here. I'm gonna make sure I'm looking at it so I can see this face. I'm gonna click on this part back here and do Control D to duplicate, and then I'm gonna hit C for cruising. Now if I grab this handle, I can drop it on that face so it's oriented the way I want. I can push it through. Notice I can select the red one. I can do L for a line. And I know I want it to come to the exact top. And I also want it to line up with this one's middle. And I'm also going to bring it to the back edge. Those will group absolutely perfectly together. I can now just take this and shrink it down. I'm looking at it from a side so I've got better cruising options. Click on that piece and do control D to duplicate. Let's hit C for cruising and we want to grab it and we want to set this one on top. That way we can push it down to the exact spot we wanted. I'm going to nudge it out with the arrow keys. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to bring it down just like that. I'm going to copy this one right up here by doing control D. C for cruising. And then I'm going to cruise it down and this one I'm going to set on that front edge and we can just push it back in. One of the nice things about Tinkercad is these will join so you don't have to be absolutely perfect. You can just nudge it in, get it to the exact distance and bring it back. Now if you want to do this final corner, watch this. We can do work plane. I'm going to use the other angle and I'm going to bring out this box and I'm going to set it on that work plane. Now I can grab this black handle to stretch it out. Let's hide our original part. Friends, I'm going to put the work plane back down on the ground. 
Let's hide this for a moment because I don't really need it grouped. But if we do control G, that groups. And if we do show all, you can see that lines up pretty darn awesome. So friends, I wanted you to see how easy it was to rebuild that. But watch this. Here's how you'd modify it. I'm going to break this into two pieces. So I'm going to make a second duplicate. I'm going to make a bottom half and I'm going to make a top half. So that way we could stretch and adjust as needed. If you need more intense modifications, you would just do this same technique to larger parts. So first, let's separate the top. I'm going to set this on the bottom. I'm going to stretch it across. Make sure this cuts out right here. And this is going to be the top chunk when I do group. Now I'm going to make the bottom chunk. It's the same trick. This time, I'm going to bring out the cube right here. Notice I'm keeping this little tongue part, whatever it was for. Stretching those black handles, making it go larger. And now when I group these two, Control G, we have got the two parts. All right, so let's line these up. Once again, W is for work plane, and we want to set it right there. If we do D to drop, that gets the height right. I'm also going to shift select this, and let's choose a line, make this the boss. And of course, we want the middle. And if we go to the front edge, that gets it close. Then we can just bring it out with our nudge. If you do shift nudge, since I've got it on that point one, that gets it so it lines up closer. All right, friends, I got a trick for seeing if we can get this to line up perfectly. What we're going to do is we're going to shut off the grid, bring out our ruler, and we're going to set the ruler right on that corner. And if we change these measurements to zero and zero, it should snap right to that edge if we had the dot good. Now it looks like I missed my dot, so I'm going to get a little closer. Notice it had the blue lines to show that I finally was perfect. Once again, zero enter. And we got to zoom way out to find this. Zero enter. And let's double check and see how well that lined up. I'm going to put the work plane on the ground. And now when we do control G, check it out. We did that without a seam. Now I might have messed up this. Let's ungroup quickly and see if I nudged it left or right. I'm going to do that L for a line. And once again, I want this to be the boss. And let's check that center again. And now let's group it. And we got rid of the seams on every side. Now friends, if your modification was to add more height, watch this. We can ungroup it now and you can simply stretch it. It does change this angle, but it should print just as well. Note if you do stretch it this way, everything changes. And that's why if you build your own, you'll be able to adjust it in every direction and not have scaling issues. I'm going to hit Control Z to bring that back to how it was. And then, of course, I'm going to do Control G to group our modified part. Let's shut off that ruler. And then, friends, I do like to always finish by going to Settings, picking a cool color. Let's go Aquarium Color because this is for a fish tank. And I'm going to shut off that grid and then click right here so you can check out our final creations. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.